Hi, I'm Sean Yen, and this is Minute Math, and today we're learning about two-step equation word problems. If I was given this word problem... Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help to use Minute Math. 331 students went on a field trip, 6 buses were filled, and 7 students traveled in cars. How many students were in each bus? Alright, so... One thing they tell us here, all right, we have 331 students on a field trip. So 331 students. Okay, they tell us that there were seven students in cars, okay, and then there were six buses. All right, we have six buses here. So what we want to do is see how many students traveled in the buses, okay? So if we have 331 students total, right, and seven traveled in cars, we take 331, subtracted, uh, subtract seven from that, we have 324 students left over, students in buses. If we take that 324, okay, and we divide that by six, the number of buses, we are left with 54, and 54 is the number of students per bus. And there we have our final answer. Aaliyah had $24 to spend on seven pencils. After buying them, she had $10. How much did each pencil cost? So, she had a total of $24, okay? Now, they said she had $24 to spend on seven pencils. After she spent the seven uh, pencils, the cost of seven pencils, she had $10 left over. So, our $24 minus, right, minus seven, right, we had seven pencils, seven times the price of the pencil, right, 7P. And afterwards, after all of that, she had $10 Leftover. So she started with 24. She bought seven pencils, so seven times the price of each pencil. Subtracted that, ten dollars left over. And so now we have to solve for p. Well, I subtracted twenty-four dollars to both sides, and that leaves me with a negative seven p equals ten minus twenty-four dollars is a negative fourteen dollars. Okay. Then we want to divide both sides by a negative seven here. Leave me the price per pencil left over. A negative divided by a negative is a positive, and 14 divided by a 7 is 2. So we have $2, and that's a price, $2 for each pencil. And there we have our final answer. The sum of three consecutive numbers is 72. What are the smallest of these numbers? So, hmm. First, I want to do is create an equation with that information. Now, let's say our first number is n. Okay, we don't know what it is. But the next number is three consecutive numbers is n plus 1, right? And the third number is n plus 2, two more than our original number. Now, they tell us the sum of these three numbers equals 72. Now, I've created an equation, and let's see if I can simplify and solve for n and n will be our smallest of these three numbers. Well, 1n plus 1n plus 1n, all right, we can rearrange this to be n plus n plus n plus 1 plus 2, all right? We can do that because it's all addition. We can rearrange with an addition. Now, n plus n plus n is 3n, and 1 plus 2 is 3, and that equals 72, all right? If I subtract a 3 to both sides, I'm left with 3n by itself here, and 72 minus 3 is 69. Divide both sides by 3. This gets n by itself, and 69 divided by 3 is 23. And so our answer here is 23. 23 is the smallest of these numbers. The sum of three consecutive even numbers is 48. What are the smallest of these numbers? Okay. Well, if the first number, right, first even number, let's call that n, okay, then the next even number will be 2 greater than n. So it'll be if n plus 2. Then the next even number would be n plus 4, okay? And they said that is equal to 48. 
Now I have an equation, I just gotta solve this, right? Rearrange this, n plus n plus n. We can rearrange it because it's all addition here. And then we have plus two plus four equals 40. n plus n plus n is three n. Two plus four is six, and that equals 48. I subtract a six to both sides, and in doing so, I'm left with three n, right? Sixes will cancel. And 48 minus six is 42. Divide both sides by three, and now I have n by itself. 42 divided by three is 14. 14, and so my final answer is 14. 14 is the first even number um, that, where the first three, or the first even number, where the three consecutive even numbers is uh, summed up to be 48. You bought a magazine for five dollars and four erasers. You spent a total of $25. How much did each eraser cost? So, we bought the magazine for $5, okay? Now, we bought four erasers, so we can make an equation out of this. We bought four erasers, but we don't know the price of each eraser. So, let's let E represent the price of the eraser. We spent a total. All that added up is $25. So, now we define the price of the eraser, our variable E here, okay? Well, first step is I subtract $5 to both sides. This will leave me, the fives cancel, four times E equals $20. So all four erasers now cost me $20. Divide both sides by four, and I'm left with E by itself. $20 divided by four is $5. And $5 was the price of our eraser, or each eraser. Maria bought seven boxes. A week later, half of all her boxes were destroyed in a fire. There are now only 22 boxes left. With how many did she start? So, after the fire, she had 22 boxes, okay? So, if after the fire, she had 22 boxes, right? All right, they said that was after half of them got destroyed. So opposite of a half is multiplying by two. I right, multiply that by two and we have 44 boxes she started with. So we have 44 boxes she started with. Then they said, all right, so she bought seven boxes and she, and a week later, half the boxes started five. She had 20, uh, 22 left, right? So, we want to see how much she started with, right? So we have 44 boxes. After, that was basically after the fire, half were gone. So we multiplied that by two and got to 44 boxes she started with. We know she bought seven, and we want to see how many boxes did she have before she bought that seven, okay? So now we want to solve for B. Well, that's easy now. We just subtract a seven on both sides, and we're left with, well, B being the number of boxes she had started with, and 44 minus seven is 37. So we have 37 boxes she started with. Somali won 40 super bouncy balls playing horseshoes at her locals or at her school's game night. Later, she gave two to each of her friends. She only has eight remaining. How many friends does she have? So, she initially won 40 super balls, right? Now, they said she gave two to each one of her friends, okay? So, two times F, the number of friends she has, right? And then afterwards, she was left with eight balls left over, okay? So we want to see how many friends does she have. Well, now we have an equation. Let's go solve for F, the number of friends. I subtract 40 to both sides here, and I'm left with negative 2 times F equals 80, or 8 minus 40, which is, excuse me, negative 32. Then from there, I divide both sides by negative 2, and that gives me F by itself, right? F by itself meaning the number of friends that Sumali has, and negative 32 divided by negative 2 is a positive 16, 16 friends. So Sumali has 16 friends. Imani spent half of her weekly allowance playing mini golf. To earn more money, her parents let her wash the car for $4. What is her weekly allowance if she ended with $12. So, 
her weekly allow, an, uh, allowance, it's called that W, right? Her weekly allowance, she's actually paid, uh, paid, spent half of it playing mini golf. So that amount divided by two, right? Plus, she earned $4 for washing the car. And that ended, right, at the end of the week, right? If she, with all that, the week allowance divided by two, plus $4, she ended up with $12 when it was all said and done. And we have to see how much is her weekly allowance, all right? Well, we want to solve for W. So if I subtract 4 to both sides, that would be my first step. Divorce cancel here, and $12 minus $4 is $8. Bring down the W over 2. Now we're dividing by 2, opposite of division, multiplication. Multiply both sides by 2. 2 is cancel, give me W by itself. And $8 times 2 is $16, and that is her weekly allowance. Aaliyah had some candy to give her four children. She first took ten pieces for herself, and then evenly divided the rest among her children. Each child received two pieces. With how many pieces did she start? So, let's let C represent the number of candy that she started with. Now, they said she gave that total amount, right, that she starts with. That's going to be equal to ten pieces she took for herself. Plus, right, she said she has four children, four children, all right, and each children received two pieces, okay? So 10 pieces for herself and two pieces per child. So we have the child here, our children, okay? And this is her, okay? And with that, we just have to solve for C, how much candy she started with. It's actually pretty easy. Well, four times two is eight, so we have 10 plus eight, and 10 plus eight is 18. So, so she had 18 pieces of candy to start off with. How old am I if 400 reduced by two times my age is 244? Let's create an equation. So how old am I if 400 reduced by two times my age, so A represents the same my age, and that equals 244. Well, now that we have this, we have to solve for A, and that's it. I subtract 400 to both sides. That's my first step here. The 400s will cancel, and I'm left with a negative 2 times A on the left. Now, 244 minus 400 comes out to be a negative 156. From there, I divide by a negative 2, and that's going to equal the negative 2's cancel, A by itself, my age, right? And a negative divided by a negative is a positive, and 156 divided by 2 is 78. So our age is 78 years old. And there is our final answer. Jill sold half of her comic books and then bought 16 more. She now has 36. With how many did she begin with? Okay. So let's say C is how much she started with. Okay, she started with C amount of comic books. They told us that she sold half of those books. Right? So we take the initial starting amount, we sold half of it, divided by 2, and then bought 16 more. Now, when it's all said and done, she has 36 comic books. Well, now I have an equation here where C represents how many comic books she started with. I want to solve for C, so I subtract 16 to both sides. That would be my first step. 16 is canceled on the left. Give me C over 2 left over. 36 minus 16 is 20. We then are divided by 2 here, so if I multiply both sides by 2, the 2's cancel, leaving me C by itself, and 20 times 2 is 40. And so she had 40 comic books to start with. And there it is, our final answer. For a field trip, four students rode in cars, and the rest filled nine buses. How many students were in each bus if 472 students were on the trip? So we had 472 students we start with on the trip. They told us that four students rode cars, okay, and the rest rode buses. So let's say um, nine, right, it's, oh, the rest rode buses, and there's nine of buses. Yeah, we filled nine buses. So we have nine buses times 
let's say how many students rode each bus. We'll let, make that the letter B, right? So you have nine buses, and then B represents the number of students who rode buses, or each bus, right? So nine times B would be the total number of students who rode buses, all right? Well, let's go solve for B now. We subtract both sides by four, and that cancels out the four on the right. On the left, 472 minus 4 is 468. We bring down the 9 times b. Now, if I divide by 9, right, to both sides, right, I'm left with b by itself. 9 times b represents the 468, which means that there's 468 students who rode all the buses, right? There's 9 of them, so we divide by 9 here, and we get b by itself, B being the number of students per bus. 468 divided by 9 is 52. And we have 52 students rode each bus. All right? Or 52 students per bus. <laughs> On Tuesday, Shanice bought five hats. On Wednesday, half of all the hats she had were destroyed. On Thursday, there were only 17 left. How many hats did she have on Monday? So, one of the things they said is, uh, on Tuesday she bought five hats, okay? Then, if we add the number of hats M from Monday, right? So, uh, after Tuesday she had five plus M, the number of hats she started with on Monday. They said on Wednesday half were destroyed, so we take that amount, divide by two, and this here represents how many hats she had on Wednesday, okay? On Thursday, right, when it was all said and done, Thursday she had 17 left, okay? So let's quickly follow that again, right? Monday she started with M hats. Five more were added on Tuesday. On Wednesday, half of this was destroyed, divided by two. That should equal 17, how many hats she had on Thursday after half were destroyed. We want to solve for M. So my first step, well, since I'm dividing by two, I need to multiply both sides by two. Two's cancel, giving me M plus 5 left over on the left, and 17 times 2 is a 34. I then subtract 5 to both sides, giving me m by itself, and 34 minus 5 is 29, and 29 hats is what she had on Monday. The cooking club made some pies to sell at a baseball game to raise money for the new math books. The cafeteria contributed four pies to the sale. Each pie was then cut into five pieces and sold. There were a total of 60 pieces to sell. How many pies did the club make? So, a few things we need to break down here, right? The cafeteria contributed four pies. So, four pies from the cafeteria. <laughs> Cafeteria, all right, cafeteria. All right, each pie equals, and they said five slices, right? Yeah, five pieces, five pieces, all right? And we wanna figure out how many pies did we contribute there at the cooking club, okay? So if I do four times five, that will represent the number of slices the cafeteria provided, right? Four uh, pies, and then each pie is five pieces. Four times five gives us the number of pieces of pie the cafeteria provided. Now, we know that each pie, right, we'll, we'll say P is the number of pies that the cooking club provides, and we're gonna multiply that by, well again, each pie is five pieces, right? Multiply that by five. That should equal a grand total of 60 pieces, okay? Pieces of cell. Now I wanna solve for P. Well, 4 times 5 is 20, plus P times 5, or you can write it as 5P, either way, equals 60. Now let's solve for P still, subtract 20 to both sides. The 20s cancel, and we're left with 5P on the left, and 20, or 60 minus 20 is 40. I then divide both sides by 5, 5s cancel here, and we're left with P by itself, and 40 divided by 5 is 8, so we have 8 pies, the club made. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help you use Minute Math. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help you use Minute Math. MinuteMathTutor.com